A while back, I was chatting with my good pal, Dave Pensado, and I asked him, what are some of your favorite plugins from other companies? And he told me to check out a plugin called the U73B by a developer called Autified. The U73B is a recreation of an old German Varimu tube broadcast compressor from the 60s. So I bought it, threw it on a mix, and was like, damn it. I was really pissed because it sounded so damn good. It had such a rich analog flavor and color like I'd never heard before. And it wasn't one of ours. Well, now I'm pleased to announce the new U73B compressor module for Slate Digital's Virtual Mix Rack, which is now available to everyone who has the Slate Digital Everything bundle. Let's take a listen to it on some tracks. Okay, guys, I have a song here written and produced by my friend Florian and mixed by myself. It uses multiple instances of the new Audified U73B module. Uh, let's first take a listen and then I'll go through some of the settings. Like I said, beautiful song. It's good to have talented friends, folks. So going from left to right, let's go to the snare here. I'll pull up the chain. And you can see it's just an EQ and a uh, Audified U73B. So let me mute the reverb first. And let's take a listen to it without the compressor. So you can see it's a sample. Uh, it already had some good vibe to it. You see, I didn't really need to use a VCC or a console emulation on it because I just felt like it, it didn't need it. But uh, it had some it had some issues at the top. I wanted to bring out some of that top. And uh, then I just needed some more life and color and body. It just sounded a bit boring. So I put the snare tube leveler preset onto the U73B and let's just engage that halfway and take a listen to what it does. So you can hear I'm hitting it pretty decently, but it's bringing out the bigness of the snare and it's extending the length and it's going to make it sound just bigger and overall, you know, more vibey in the mix. I just love what it's doing. You can see I have a, a somewhat fastish release here. I played around with how much uh, input I was giving the compressor so I can play around with how much compression it is. Uh, and then I backed the compression amount back to 50 because I don't want to kill it, but I wanted to just give that, uh, that extra space. One more time. Here it is again. And all the little low-level ghost note stuff comes up as well. That's why I call this preset the leveler. It really kind of brings everything out, fattens it up. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, next, we have the overhead. Let's take a listen to the overhead here. And I'll take the compressor out. And let's do another edit here. So we'll start here. I just wanted to compress it to smooth it out, give it some life, give it some vibe. So I have the overheads smooth preset here and let's listen to what it does. Again, I'll, I'll play it first, then engage it. I mean, what it's doing to that symbol is insane to my ears. I mean, it's just giving it such beautiful, smooth vibe without sounding very compressed. Again, this is a very mute tube limiter, and we have a very slow release on, on this preset. And it's just very smooth, very vibey. I really love that. Moving on to the room mics. 
Again, you're going to see all I did was just need the Audify compressor. It already has a lot of the beautiful colorations that normally I'd add with, you know, maybe maybe a VCC console emulation or one of the preamps. It just already has so much color in it that it can do a lot with one module. Uh, and this one I have the Drum Room uh, Tube Warmth preset. And again, uh, it's somewhat slow release here, 1.2. And let's take a listen first off, then on. I mean, it's so great on these room mics. It just brings them to life, you know, brings that kick out, adds body, adds weight, and it does it without sending overly smashed. So we'll bring that guy back down here. And the last thing I have it on is the lead vocal. Let's jump over to the lead vocal here. Again, I will mute the reverb, and let me show you what I have here with the lead vocal. You'll see I have the Audified U73B in conjunction with the FG116 Vintage. You will find that this compressor works so well in conjunction with other compressors. So in this scenario, I'm using the FG116 for the aggressiveness. I want to push the vocal out to the front of the mix. And then the Audified U73B is our blanket, our warm, tubey blanket. It's going to coat it with some nice, rich tube harmonics and saturation and just give it a little bit more softer edges. So let's do this. First, the vocal with nothing. Then I'll put the FG116 in. And and then I'll put in the U73B. Be the ocean that keeps beating hard miles away. Half a world has broken our vows. So you can hear, you know, as soon as I kicked in the 116, all of a sudden the vocal, you know, popped to the front of the mix. And then as soon as I kicked in the Audified U73B, it kind of gave this fatness and warmth and life and vibe. I love this compressor, guys, and I know you guys will too. So again, if you're an Everything Bundle member, you can download the new VMR update, which includes the new Audified U73B compressor limiter. And if you want to buy it, visit our friends at Audified where they sell it individually. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.